Hi everyone, welcome back to another video on my channel. So today I am showing you the salon room um, that I work from at my home. Um, obviously most of you have already seen it, especially if you watch my organisation videos and you've probably seen literally everything. But I'm going to literally just walk through absolutely everything. So what's inside my drawers and my desk and um, what's on the walls, what's in the other drawers in the room that are like, where are they? Down here. So literally just everything. I'm going to show you everything, tell you where I get everything from from start to finish. So let's get straight into it because obviously it's gonna be quite a long video so I need to get into it ASAP. My throat is still a little bit croaky so just ignore that but I'm absolutely fine, don't worry. Um, but yeah, let's get straight into it. So first of all, this is the door that my clients would come in. Um, this literally just leads like um, out onto my driveway. So obviously they just park at the bottom of the drive, they come straight up, the door's usually open to let them know they can come in and then that's that, they're in. Um, this door here leads to my actual house in the kitchen. So obviously when that door's locked, I'm through there. Um, so as the client walks in, this is first what they will see. So this is what the room looks like. It's not really particularly tidy, which is a bit annoying because I'm doing a salon tour. <laughs> this mug shouldn't be here. There's some things on my desk, but it's literally just because that's the video that I'm gonna be filming after this. Just ignore that. So to the left, which this is the chair that the client would sit in. So directly to the left of my clients is the swatches. So they can have a look through them while I'm doing their nails. So at the front, we've got gel perfection swatches. Uh, and then some more because they're blue and green. So the front one or two are usually gel perfection. The next ones are blue sky. I'm in, I'm in the middle of currently repainting them all so they're on all the same store of sticks, which is much better. Then at the back is the Tears Beauty acrylic swatches. So that's my acrylics and gels up here. So we've got blacks, nudes, and neutrals there. And then we've got reds. That's in the wrong place. One second. Reds, plums, um, like burgundies and orange and yellows go on there. Then here we've got our purples and then here obviously we've got lots of pinks. Down here we've got a random few bits and pieces. Like these ones are just normal colours but with different types of top coat and effects on top. These ones are a few cat size that are new that I need to sort out. And then these are all the other ones that are still cat size and colour changes from Blue Sky but I just haven't painted those up yet haven't quite caught up with the blue skies just yet but so this is my desk I've got just the lamp here obviously my Willow Academy pillow my e-file from Willow and then just my bits and bobs that are necessities like hand sanitizer and then I've got some in here we've got cotton pads on the right and then some wax strips cut up as lint pads on the left and then in here is just all my essentials all those sorts of bits and pieces and stuff and then I've got this um, napkin holder here, uh, which I think was from Ikea, just to put my napkins in, because I used the napkins on top of my e-file as, no, on top of my dust extractor as like, what are they called? Filters. Um, so here I've got my Tears Beauty powders, which are just directly behind me on the left. Some certificates and like my drinks menu and stuff in the middle. And then more Tears Beauty powders up there, because I couldn't fit them all on the small ones. And then we've got all of the gel perfection colours down here so that's the wall easy peasy super quick to show you the walls and then here we've got the cart like or trolley whatever you want to call it it's just got all my necessities on it um like acetone ice spray alcohol like my sanitizer spray like top coats and base coats all at the top water bottle um what are these called lint free rollers like ready for when i do stamping and stuff got my magnets on here for cat size some manicure brushes are all nice and clean then you've got my uh palettes here for if you do nail art in the back there there's some files like all new ones in here are the removal um like foil things if i do removals and we've got some swatch sticks here stiletto ones then in here we've got those clips that you put on top of the foils on your nails keep them ready for removal then in here those are just the swatch sticks the swatch tips that i use for doing like videos and stuff at the bottom is just like my window wipes and acetone acrylic liquid all that sort of thing and then here we've got some normal napkins like to fill up that i've got my drinks machine here and everything and some sugar and like cups and stuff like that ready for when the winter comes and half a drink so then usually this is full of tears beauty bottles at the front and then some of these small pens at the back just in case clients would like to buy some cuticle oil i will restock that before christmas because some people like to buy things like that as like gifts and stuff these top three drawers i can't show you because they're all just boxes with all my clients files in and stuff but they all have names on and things and for data protection obviously i can't show you those but underneath those we've got glitters so this is a sparkle supplies uk drawer every single glitter in here is from sparkle supplies uk um 
so obviously this was after they became like just bagged if you've been buying from sparkle supplies for like months and months you'll know that they used to sell them you could pick whether you wanted pots or bags and then lorraine decided to just sell them as bags then obviously you could purchase your own pots if you'd like them potted um but obviously i bought some in pots already so the next drawer's got the smaller pots in but then these ones are the ones i buy from amazon and then i just decant all of the bags into a pot that's not got a label on which is weird but usually i have the label of the name on the bottom because i peel it off the bag and then i peel off the um brand name sticker for the top as well i do that for all of them so that's what these big pots are so that's that drawer there's some more at the back there as well that i couldn't quite fit in the front and then this drawer we've got more sparkle supplies this is all sparkle supplies as well and these are just tips that i've done like for videos and stuff ready to go on like in a book or something when i finally buy one but then we've got all the little pots that i've got from sparkle supplies these ones are all just glitters these are also glitters and then here we've got effects so we've got some like shard sort of things if it will focus there you go we've got shards so these are fizzy orange shards we've got these ones which are medusa and they're like two-tonal We've got flakes, like these rare gold ultra soft ones. They're absolutely beautiful. The ultra soft flakes are just stunning. We've got some normal, just like metallic gold and red flakes. Beautiful for Christmas. We've got some glow in the dark pigments. Some normal type of pigments that just give you that different effect, like a chrome sort of thing. And then we've got these little like nugget embellishment things that you can also get from Sparkle Supplies. And they come in lots of different colours. So I've got all of those. These are beautiful. Look at these. These are called Fantasia. Look at all those different colours in there. They're stunning. But anyway, so they're all effects, like the gold leaf and stuff like that in this end one. Then all the rest are just glitters. And then the bottom of this drawer, we've got Tia's Beauty stuff. So the swatches are just everywhere, which is such a mess. But we've got, so we've got swatches of literally everything I've got in here. But we've got swatches of the Aurora Chromes, like over white and black. They're absolutely beautiful. Then we've got swatches of the normal like coloured chromes, the ones that are a colour themselves. They're all there. And then we've got glitter swatches because who doesn't love looking at glitter? Um, and then basically all the swatches are just of everything in here. So we've got glitters down here. We've got chromes. Then we've got um, all the shards. Uh, and then we've got aurora pigments and then shapes and then actual neon pigments over there. And then moving over to here, we've got stuff like this. It's like from Amazon, eBay and Sheen, like places like that. We've got things like this. They just come in those like 12 grid boxes. There's quite a few in there, if you could see all those. And we've got Sharpie sort of pens to do any marbling with. And then in here, we've got all the blue sky, um, what they called like cat size and color changes. They're all in here so moving on next up we've got my tall drawers and then we'll do my desk drawers last save the best till last so these tall drawers i've just done a video about reorganizing them so you've probably already seen these so i'm going to just fly through these real quick um this is basically just an odd sods and bobs <laughs> that's not even a thing but that type of drawer like all the extras like all the bags that i keep my foils in all the spare ones of those are in there i've got spare like tip boxes here some foils came in these but i don't keep them like that so i keep them from a tip so i buy some of those in bags We've got these that I don't currently keep my um, stamping plates in at the moment, but you never know, I might. I've got some wax strips here that I cut up into lint-free pads. Then up here, we've got some magpie gels that I'm selling, so they're not going to be there for much longer. We've got some Ink London um, gels and then just some bits and bobs at the back. Here is all of my, like, this is my tinting bag, like, just to tint my eyebrows and stuff. I used to do tinting, like... Um, as my job as well as long as nails but obviously I've stopped doing that now but I kept the stuff for my own and um, then we've got some press-on tips here from when I did press-ons in the lockdowns and then all of this is just press-on related next up we've just got a bit of a random box of everything like these files are used just on my nails and we've got some stationery as well and then underneath we've got my gift vouchers in case clients want to buy them and then some wax melts for in the winter when it gets nice and dark early and i can have a wax melt burning in my room that is my label maker up here we've just got a swatch drawer this is all sorts of swatch sticks and like tips and stuff so we've got these we've got some of these flower ones we've got some of these We've got the three-way swatches in here and we've got just the normal square ones. Like There's all sorts in there. And in here, we've got my like box of randomness, basically. Like I didn't really know what to do with it, so I just threw that all together. And here we've got all my hand creams from the body shop for clients to wear, like put on after they've um, had oil put on and their nails done. 
We've got all these that I use for backgrounds of videos, but they're not really that appropriate, so I'm not sure to do those. And then up here is where I keep my coffee when I am well stocked. So moving on to my desk. On the right of me, let's just get some light in this. Now we're at my desk. So on the right, we've got this top drawer. So in here, we've got all sorts of like stickers and decals, like that sort of thing. This is just a random notepad that I use to write down ideas with clients and stuff. So we can write down what they want on the nails. So this book here is mainly just like stickers. All sorts of random stuff. Like some of them are from Magpie. Well, majority of these ones are from Magpie. Some are from Ginger and Belle. Some of them, these ones at the back are from Amazon. So there's all sorts of different ones. And then over here, we've got these, which are like, I call this like the materials bit. I don't really have a major amount of these because to be honest, I don't really use them. I need to start using them more. So these are from Sparkle Supplies UK. We've got like Aurora paper. And then these ones are from Amazon. Obviously, we've got some more Sparkle Supplies UK material here. And then we've got the mesh as well, which is absolutely beautiful. And then these, I think, are from Charlie's Nail Art. So that's that one. And then back here, we've got a decals one. This is just like a, a random decals one. They're from all over the place. So these ones are from like Enchanted Decals. And then we've got some like Amazon ones. There's just all sorts in here that have come from all over the place. And then show that one last this one they've also got enchanted decals decals in obviously like the bigger ones and then we've also got lots of stickers in here this is like my my overflow of stickers because there's quite a few and i need quite a lot of space for them so again they're from all over the place you've got my stripe in like my uh, flexi tapes at the back i use flexi tape a hell of a lot they're very very good um, and then this one, last but not least for this drawer, is the one from Nail Decals by Design. They do personalise one where you can have your logo on them. They look brilliant. Um, the front isn't actually full yet. I filled it from the back because it looks better when you close it if there's nothing at the front. Um, and this has got all of my Nail Decals by Design decals in. So these ones at the front are the Halloween ones. And then we've got loads and loads. There's so many in here. But yeah, these are all from, there's some in there that I haven't even put in yet that I totally forgot about. They're all Halloween ones as well I need to do, so I need to get around to that. Um, but yeah, so that is those. That's all nail decals by Design Things. I do have a discount code for them, so make sure to check out the description box if you'd like to purchase any. And then at the front of this drawer, we've just got random bits and bobs that I reach for quite often. Like this is a glitter catcher, I use that. I use this as a background for some thumbnails for videos. Um, I've got pens in here, we've got like these little what they called like the little stands that I use to do nail art for videos and stuff so that's all right there because I need to access it really easily and quickly so I have it right at the front so I can just grab it whenever I need it and then next up we've got my foil drawer that's all stuck. so this you've all seen this probably hundreds of times before but I will quickly just skim through it really quick this folder is from Amazon so that is where you can find it and it holds loads and loads you can also buy these pages like as inserts separately which i am going to have to do um because i'm starting to run out of space now so eventually i'm going to need some more but yeah i've got foils from all over the place in here like there's so many um there's some from magpie there's some diamond glitters sparkle supplies uk amazon sheen divine nails and beauty um what else have we got uh tia's beauty we've got charlie's nail art the naughty nail fairy like there's all sorts loads and loads in here from loads of different places but you can never have too many foils this is a problem and then at the back i just keep all my christmas ones and halloween ones as well so they're nice and separate next up we've got my brush drawer so this is obviously just brushes it used to be sorted out like in order of what type of brushes things were um like that's falling over so I'd have like um, acrylic and everything brushes in here, then some sort of other brush in here, nail art brushes, like detail brushes in here and stuff like that. But I don't do that anymore, clearly. Um, but I used to, I just put them back in the wrong place. But just, yeah, it's not necessary to have this many brushes. It really isn't. Next up down here, we've got my stamping drawer. This is not how I'm going to be storing my plates, but just how they are for the moment, just for the time being. Um, but down here, I've got my like stamping polishes. We've got clear jelly stamper ones and moira in there and then over here we've got literally just like the cheapy poundland ones and blue sky ones here blue sky weekly polish is a brilliant nail stamping polish 
because it dries really quick but it's really pigmented so it's perfect um, and then obviously all my stamping plates and then all my stampers and scrapers down the bottom drawer is just all my tips and everything in here is all my, like my spare tips for different sizes of different ones and then there's just boxes and boxes of tips i've got a bit of a problem with them to be honest i just can't stop buying them but yeah so that's my tip drawer so that's all the drawers on my right so let's move on to the left so moving on to the left and the top drawer we've got all the blue sky colors these are the ones i've already finished swatching so that's why they're at the top already and then these ones i need to still swatch so that's why they're all just sort of just chilling um so that's my blue sky colors and then down here we've got magpie stuff let me just lower my chair because i'm too tall to be able to see um so in here i've got the magpie stuff that i kept because obviously i did sell the majority of the magpie items but i did keep some so i've got the inkies in here um all of those are just sitting in there although i don't really use them very often then in here we've got these amazon gel pots which i keep forgetting to finish off um swatching the ones with the like colors on the lids are the only ones i've swatched so i haven't really done many like at all which is not very good but i will get around to it then i've got magpie gel paints down here and then magpie flakes down here um the magpie flakes are just beautiful and to be quite honest like they're one of those things like some of them are really expensive um, i'm not saying that they shouldn't be but i just mean in general like i'm pretty sure there's um i can't remember which ones it is but there's some in here that are just stu stupidly expensive and i just don't see the point in selling them because it's like you're never going to get a, even near how much you paid for them because most people in the right mind wouldn't spend like 18 pounds on a pot of flakes but there you go um and then i've got some leftover like clear and white acrylic here from magpie which i use in videos just so i don't waste the stuff that i use on clients and then in here we've got all of my core powders from tia's beauty just because obviously i need them often so i can grab them really quick and um, we've got some core powders from CJP, like just in colours that Tia's Beauty don't do. Then I've got all of the Brill Bird Glamour Gels just in there. They are absolutely beautiful. If you don't have any, you need them, especially for Christmas. Get the red, it'll be so popular. Then I've got my Cuckoo um, file in there. It doesn't really work, so I don't really know why I've kept it, but I've just got a bit of a problem with throwing things away, so there you go. I've got a few leftover powders in here because they wouldn't fit on the wall. And then some forms up there. And then last but not least, in the bottom drawer, we've got like these are all my swatches of all the glitters that i have swatched let's put my flash on these are the swatches of the glitters that i've got around to swatch in from sparkle supplies um i haven't done all of them i must admit like it, it's not a job that i enjoy um or a job that i even have any intention to actually get done anytime soon i'm not gonna lie um but yeah they do look beautiful as swatched like when they're swatched don't get me wrong i love i love having them for clients to be able to look at really clearly and not just guess what they look like but it takes a long time it's messy and it just stresses me out so it's one of those things i'm afraid um but yeah i've got lots and lots of swatches in there then up here we've got stuff from charlie's nail art we've got like glitters very cute and then we've got crystals or gems or whatever you want to call them we've got some shapes we've got some stars in here and then in here we've got i get these cases from sheen or amazon and then in here we've got shapes and crystals these are all from um sparkle supplies uk then we've this is just crystals and they're all from sparkle supplies uk as well and then these are just shapes and they're all from sparkle supplies uk and then we've got an amazon one which is just random stuff from amazon and then we've also got these from sparkles as well so that is it for this video i know that i seem to have zoomed through it but i just know that even though i've said everything really quick it's still going to be really long but i hope you enjoyed it anyway thank you so much for watching um i think i remembered everything hopefully if not then obviously never mind i guess um thank you so much for watching and i'll be back really soon with another video as always bye